Hello beautiful people. I uh, hope you are happy and healthy whenever you are watching uh, this video. So I'm super excited. I am creating a piece for Metalsmiths for Change. Um, it is a, it's a, an organization that um, Metalsmiths such as myself can participate in auctions. So we create a piece with some type of meaning and it um, goes in an auction and the money is used to help uh, people of color there's a lot going on and I, we can all do something so this is my one of my some things so I'm excited I'm gonna try to like show you guys as much of the process as I can I am going to create a piece honoring Angela Davis and um, one reason is because I love her um, I learned a lot from her speeches, and I'm going to start reading some of her books as well. Um, but also, I always think about how they say, like, give me my flowers while I'm still here. And she is still here, and she is still, you know, fighting for change and still being a light. And so I appreciate you if you ever happen to actually watch this. And I hope you love my piece, and I hope you guys love my piece. Thank you so much for being interested in my work. So let me turn it around and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I have set up so far. Okay, so I printed this picture of Angela Davis. It's one of my favorite um, pictures of her and I love her big old Afro. <laughs> and I'm gonna put stuff in her Afro. It's gonna be super cool guys. So. Um, Angela Davis has always talked about liberating the people. First, you have to liberate the mind. And so I'm literally going to have like gel bars here. They're going to be sterling silver gel bars. And then I'm going to saw out this little mind and it's going to look like the brain, like the mind is coming, like it's being liberated from jail. Super excited about that. I'm also going to saw out this fist and it's going to be in on this side of her afro and um because she is a professor and an author and um you liberate your mind through knowledge i'm gonna uh saw out a sterling silver book and it's gonna go on this side of her afro and then i'm also gonna give her earrings i think her face is probably going to be brass um, but I'll have to print another picture so that I can saw that out. But I'm thinking about doing earrings because I'm like, okay, you got to have some stones in it, right? Because that's what I do. But I don't know if they're going to be earrings or I'm not, I haven't like decided for sure, for sure on what stones and where. Also what I'm going to do with the face because I don't plan to create her actual face. So anyway, I'm going to saw this piece out and start working on what I have solidified in my mind. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Thanks for being interested. And um, yeah, let's get ready for the next clip. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is what I have so far. Um, so this is going to be the gel. None of this is obviously. It's not soldered. I just had to get all the pieces so this is 14 gauge round wire. I normally use it for um, my stacking rings. This is half round 10 gauge sterling silver wire. So that's my little gel and that is brass. The brain is gonna be in brass. I decided to do a crown. I love it. It's not together yet, but I hammered a pattern in this 14 gauge wire and saw this crown out. This is the brass fist. This is a silver book. Her face is also cut out in brass. And this is what I have so far. I have thoughts about possibly doing a flush setting of one of these tiny either opals. Sorry, the video is tripping. So I've got opal or labradorite but that is not final in my design it is still very much evolving but this is where i'm gonna stop for today i got uh lots of stuff cut out i'm not sure if i will add what i will do we're just gonna watch this thing evolve 
Um, but hopefully you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. And I hope it comes out nice in the end so that um, people will bid on it in the auction. Uh, see you guys later. Peace. Grand Rising. It is Friday morning, August 28th. And I am staring at Angela. <laughs> I'm slightly struggling to figure out what all to do. I know I have a lot of ideas and I have so much to say about Angela Davis. And um, so I don't want it to be too much and I don't want it to be too little and I want it to make an impact and be powerful and also beautiful. And so, yeah, I'll show you guys what I have. And we'll go from there. So this is what I left with last night. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is develop it all a little more. So the gel bars and stuff this is all gonna be soldered together before I solder it down on her so I'm gonna work on that like cleaning up all the edges and stuff so that it can be soldered I will try to videotape when I'm soldering just so you guys can see what I even mean by that um, I'm gonna solder the crown together I'm gonna start doing the detailing on the fist and the book and then I'm going to put everything back on her and I'm going to take her paper off and just see what it looks like from there, what I want to add or change. I want to do something to the face, but I don't know what yet, if it's going to be a word or um, stone or both or what. So anyway, thank you guys. <laughs> I'll update you in a little bit. Okay, so this was the best way I could find to set this up to show you guys, but this is my gel um, illustration. This is the bars, and it's broken, and there's going to be a brain right there. So um, before setting this video up, I just put them all together. I heated them up. I sprayed them with this flux, and then I put little pieces of wire solder. Hopefully you can see that at all of the joints. So this is 14 joints. I am praying that they all solder <laughs> correctly the first time, no matter how long you have been a metalsmith. I've been a metalsmith uh, 14 years, I mean 14, four years as when I started learning how to uh, metalsmith. And I still have good solder days and bad solder days but I'm trying to share as much as possible with you guys so let's just pray that this works out well I'm just trying to heat it all up and some of the solder will start flowing in these joints And see this little piece of solder is not there it goes put it like on the joint there we go we gotta make sure they're all touching Oosh. I'm gonna have to reset this up. So one, two, three, four, five solder joints. Nope, not that one. Some of them attached and some of them didn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna reset it up and I'll start this video again. Okay guys, round two. <laughs> I hope this is a good angle. The phone is actually sitting on top of my bangle mandrel. So I've straightened everything out again. I did spray it again. I put solder on the joints that are not yet soldered. So you can see this joint, this joint, this joint, and this joint are soldered. None of them on this side are, and the others aren't. 
Um, before I set this up, I tried to make sure that all of the edges that needed to be soldered were filed very, very flat so you can have a great strong solder joint. Uh, this piece has a whole lot of joints, so there's a lot. It's got to be perfect. I just have to get the perfect um, connection between all of them. So let's try out round two. I'm using hard solder because I will need to solder this piece on top of Angela's afro and I don't want these joints to come loose when I do that. That one's going to be with medium solder. like all of those joints almost not the same now we gotta get this side straight there we go I think that's all of them. We'll pick it up and see if I can pick it up. Sometimes I let it cool a little. But I think all of the joints, maybe this one's not. Can you see how the, it flowed in between these? So now this is making all of them one piece. This one doesn't look like it's done. I might have to go over it one more time and possibly this one. But I think for the most part, we got them all soldered. So I'm gonna finish <laughs> without you guys, but I will come back and show more um, of my progress later on. Peace. Okay, so here is where we are. <clears throat> and I just realized that videotaping sideways with my phone is the best way to show you guys everything. So sorry about that, but the video is now sideways, which is hopefully better. I'm open to feedback if it is or if it's not. But I just added the detail to the fist. Hope you guys can see that. I used um, one of my husband's chisels. I think this is actually for his woodwork, but it's a chisel and I just tried to get like really good straight lines and hammer um, the details. So I definitely do think it looks clearly like a fist and that looks good. I'm thinking about adding this soda light. I just, I've been listening to her um, just interviews and speeches and stuff uh, and um, soda light is a crystal that really spoke out to me because it's called like the it, it's great for artistic expression and even though for her it wasn't necessarily probably like a art but it is a skill that she has and she is very gifted at speaking and writing and expressing um, what it is that she was expressing about um, liberation and uh, revolutionaries and the prison system and all these different things that she talks about so um we're gonna see I'm, I'm not sure if that's gonna go there and i also want to do a symbolic like breaking up of the system so we'll see how that evolves but i want to show you guys what the gel bars look like now so this is pickle after you solder stuff you want to put it in your pickle pot this is just a regular crock pot and it has salt and vinegar, but you can also buy a pickle solution. Oops. So I'm gonna um, use my steel wool 
and clean this up even more. But what I decided is that I don't want to, um, so normally when I make a piece, if you can look at it kind of closer, it's still kind of dirty. I would clean every single edge, every single piece of solder that I thought was extra on there. But I'm kind of hoping for like a, a kind of a more rugged look because these are supposed to be gel bars. And so I'm like purposely leaving them um, rough because it's rough. It's rough to not have control of your own life even more so if you are innocent, even more so if you are there for longer than you should be um, being used as a slave. So these are the gel bars. And I'll come back and show you guys some more stuff once I do more detail on the brain and everything. All right, see you in a minute, peace. Okay guys, so I think this is it. I saw some little curls in her hair all around. Um, I cleaned up her face and my thought is like break down the system so I have system but it's like broken up over her face and the soda light. I added details to the brain um, and I also added some detail on the sides of the book so it can kind of look like the side of the pages. I hope that is what it looks like. So I am going to take this paper off and I'm going to solder everything together and then create a bail for it and I'll get back to you guys once I do that. Okay guys, I'm stopping here for the night, but this is the update. So everything is soldered except for the setting. You can see here I got some solder on her face. Because I tried to solder the setting on top of there. And this is what it looks like now. Too much heat on it and not enough control, I guess. It was a lot to heat up at once and solder at once. So you see the solder joint moved and it just got messed up. So I decided to just create another setting. So, so far... I have soldered this setting. I still have to clean it up later. But I'm stopping here for the night because I'm supposed to make turkey burgers. So we will have to finish Angela tomorrow, Saturday. And I'm coming up on my deadline to have this turned in. So I'm hoping to get her all finished and cleaned up by Saturday. So I'll update you guys later. Peace, peace and rising beautiful people it is saturday august 29th and i've got to turn angela in by the 30th <laughs> so she's got to get done today i worked on her all day basically yesterday and then the day before and before starting to physically work on her obviously i had to get the ideas and the pictures in my mind and in my phone and in my printer so I'm gonna show you guys what she's looking like now. She is almost done. She's almost done being soldered. And then there's all the cleanup that has to happen after that. Um, but once you're all done soldering, you're like, yes, you're halfway there. So let me, let me show you guys what she's looking like. So obviously she's all dirty. Hopefully you can see, oh, I should turn it this way. Hopefully you can see the book there, the fist here, the crown here. This is the jail bars with the mind coming out, her face. And I added broken chains. I felt like that side was looking kind of empty. And broken chains was something that I originally had in mind before I settled on the broken jail bars, like the like liberate the mind, but this can be liberate the mind and breaking the chains, the chains of slavery, which are still, is still happening right now in prisons. So I created this setting yesterday, but I still have to clean up the solder joint and I have to make it way shorter because the stone that I'm using is really thin 
and you don't want your walls to be too tall then they don't fold over nicely on your stone and you want to show as much of the stone as possible so i am going to finish this up get it soldered on top and start clean up and then i'll show you guys where i'm at in a bit peace okay so she is all soldered together and partially cleaned up i plan to record some of the soldering but my husband was in here making a whole bunch of noise making coasters and as he respects my uh, need <laughs> to be artistic and make noise and make things with my hands i have to respect his too so i just kept on soldering but everything is firmly on here she's looking pretty good um i'm gonna put her in the tumbler which is gonna just further kind of pre-polish and harden some things and then i will oxidize it and we'll go from there so this is how she looks with all pieces soldered on and partially cleaned up the leather cord will go through here i'm super excited she's looking really really good so I'll update you guys soon. Peace. Okay guys, so she came out of the tumbler. Um, not too clean. She didn't tumble as long as I normally let stuff tumble because um, I'm gonna, I'm oxidizing her now. So as you can see, her afro is black. I'm going to make sure to polish the high parts, but it really brings out her afro and all the different, um, the letters and um, just the different details that I put in everything. That black is going to really bring that out. So I'm going to take her out and polish the high parts and I'll give you guys like another update, but this is how she's looking. So I used liver of sulfur in some very hot water and that's what turns the silver black it's called oxidizing if you didn't know um some of you probably do know so i'll show you guys an update in a bit okay here's angela just came out of the liver of sulfur i know the black looks kind of uneven i'm actually okay with that um, because it's like natural hair and i'm going to put a finish on it that's going to make it look a little more uniform when it's done and it's also going to help to try to keep that dark finish on there as long as possible but now i'm going to use probably my steel wool and one of the tools on my flex shaft to shine up all of the stuff that i want to go back to like gold or copper so the crown uh, the fist, the book, I want the outsides of the book to stay dark, but I want this inside part to go back to silver. The bars will be silver, but I'm not going to clean them up as clean as everything else because gel is grungy and I want it to be felt that way. These, I'm just letting them do whatever they want to do because shackles and chains are also ridiculous and grungy and yeah, if you're innocent which a lot of black people are, if you're being railroaded, which a lot of black people are, that's what I mean. I don't mean just like no punishment for anybody. Obviously, if people are acting a fool, they need to be punished. But black people are targeted and they try to hold us down. And so this piece, I wanted to say power more than beauty. And I hope it says both at the end, but this is what it's looking like. I'll show you guys once I get everything cleaned up. Here she is, guys. I polished up everything that I wanted to stand out and be its own color and shiny. Um, I wanted the gel bars to be kind of grungy so you can see they're not all the way clean and also the chains. Um, I just put Renaissance wax on her. Um, that's this, Renaissance wax. So this really helps um, keep the finish. Brass likes to tarnish. Copper likes to tarnish. Silver will also tarnish if you get it wet or leave it wet for a long time. 
Um, and over time, things just tarnish. Um, so I put that on there and I'm going to polish it and take good pictures and videos in the morning. But thank you guys for watching and being interested um, in my Angela Davis piece for Metal Smiths for Change. I'm super excited and I'm going to go have a glass of wine because I'm pretty proud of myself. See ya. Peace. Angela is shipping out today, guys. She is all finished. She got all her finishings. Um, she was put on auction and she sold uh, for $150. So that money, all of that money is going to organizations that support black women um, needing therapy and other types of support. So I'm super excited to be able to use my gift and my voice to support my people, beautiful black people, beautiful black women, and to celebrate this black woman, Angela Davis, you are a queen. I'm so, so excited. If you don't get anything else from this, please look her up, watch a speech or read a book or um, just learn more about what she went through as a black woman here and what she fights for. Uh, she's a very educated, very eloquent um, teacher. And so I'd love for you to just look her up and tell me what you learned. Comment below what you what you think about my work or this video, what else you would like to see. And I'd love to hear what you learned about Angela Davis. Angela, if you ever, ever watch this, I know that you say it's not as much about you. It's more about the movement and it involved you, but it is you too. God put something in you that was special in the way that you... Um, articulate what you have learned and what you have gone through and the way that you went through it and the way that you used your voice and your gift, your beautiful, amazing throat chakra um, has just enlightened us as a people. And I thank you. Blessings to you. I hope that um, more of us just continue to start using our voices you know, in our own little ways. So thank you guys for being interested in my work and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.